I'm here with Chief Astronomer Derek Pitts from the Franklin Institute. Derek, thank you so much for speaking with me. Sure, thanks for having me. One of the upsides of the pandemic, Derek, is that the pollution levels have gone down, the environment is a lot better off, and so are people able to see more now than they would have before, you know, in, in cities and in rural areas alike? Looking through our atmosphere to see astronomical objects is sometimes like looking through a dirty windshield. And because of the pandemic, the windshield is now a little bit clearer than usual. So that can make it easier for us to see some objects without too much difficulty. We're talking stars, satellites, planets, even galaxies. This is a perfect opportunity for us to sort of reconnect with the night sky by learning about what we can see from where we live. And there's a lot to see once the sky gets dark after nine. What you'll see in the evening over in the west without any difficulty at all is Venus. Venus is very bright and easy to recognize. It looks like a very large white object uh, over in the west. And it's easy to identify the western direction, by the way, because that's the direction where suns set. How do you tell the difference between the bright stars and the bright planets? Stars twinkle, planets don't. As Derek shifts the time later, you can see the sky is darker and a lot more stars are visible. So we're looking at a constellation right in this region of the sky. This is directly south, about halfway up from the horizon at about 9.30 in the evening. And it's Leo the Lion. That's the constellation we're seeing here, and it's marked by a backwards question mark that we can see right here. There's the bottom of the question mark. Here's the hook of the question mark. We come across to the top, and no doubt you can see this little thing right here. That's a satellite moving through the field of view. Now let's put up some lines just so we can see where it is, and here it is right here. The other thing that Leo does is it helps us find other constellations. Check out when Derek adds the constellation artwork. Right above Leo, if we go right up from his back, straight up like this, we'll come right here to the pot of the Big Dipper. And the pot of the Big Dipper, of course, is that part that we can see really, really easily of the Big Dipper. And we can see the handle right here on the back end. And what we can do is we can go right from the pot, right out to the handle, and the handle will carry us over to that red giant star I mentioned, Arcturus, right here. And then, of course, we can come back to Leo, and now what we have is we have three main constellations that we can see without any difficulty at all. Leo the Lion, main constellation of the spring sky, Ursa Major and the Big Dipper, one that everyone knows, and Arcturus as part of the constellation Buotis, not very well known, but the star is really nice to look at, especially in binoculars. For constellations, the way I advocate doing this is, is get a star map from online someplace. There are plenty of star maps available that you can choose from. Find a bright constellation, a constellation that has lots of bright stars uh, at around 9 p.m. in the evening, just as the sky is getting dark. And uh, what you can do with that is learn that particular constellation's shape using its bright stars. And then for one evening, go outside, identify that one constellation. Now, once you've done that, you're done for the evening, go back inside and get your reward, whatever that reward is. Maybe it's chocolate, maybe it's ice cream, maybe it's a glass of wine. Whatever your reward is, that's the reward for the evening for you. Then the next night you're gonna go out identify or learn a constellation from your map that's adjacent to the one you already learned. Go back outside, identify the one you learned previously and the one adjacent to it, and now you have two constellations. And of course, most importantly, another reward. And if you keep doing this, Derek says you can get really good, really fast at recognizing constellations and knowing the sky. It's fun to lay outside on sort of like a, a recliner, or a chaise lounge or something like that, and just sweep the binoculars through the sky. You'll discover all kinds of things. Do you need to know what they are by name? Not necessarily. I just do it because it's fun, and you can see all sorts of cool, cool things. It gives you that time to sort of like decompress and relax, calm down, 
and sort of get more into the flow of the universe itself. All right, Derek, thank you so much. This was just really cool. I love the connection, love the information, and uh, I think I'm gonna have to take the family out tonight. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.